Hello, dear viewers. This is George from Ireland. Here I am in Brussels again. Behind me is Mannequin Pis, you can probably see, which is uh, one of the icons of Brussels. It's a statue of a toddler boy micturating into the fountain. These days, probably wouldn't be allowed to construct such a thing. It would be regarded um, as uh, obscene. Anyway, you can see that many tourists are coming here to pose for photos. We're in one of the pedestrian areas uh, of the uh, old quarter of Brussels, um, uh, towards the bottom of the hill. We're not very far from La Grande Place. Anyway, it might be slightly difficult to find in this uh, veritable labyrinth of uh, side streets. Um, it's it's much more approachable because uh, it's a pedestrian zone, as I've said, and uh, it, you can walk here on cobblestones. So the city is quite well preserved. If you find I have difficulty locating this one, when you can smell chocolate, you're getting close because there are lots of chocolate shops. Godiva is one of the uh, best known Belgian brands of chocolate. I don't know how they got that name of that 11th century um, British countess uh, who famously rode around Brussels, not Brussels, rode around Coventry in the nude to shame her husband for excessively taxing the people, though everyone promised that they would stay indoors and not see her on her horse naked, although Peeping Tom went out to see her and was struck blind for his sin. Uh, what else can I say? So you can see typical uh, Brussels street scenes with all these cafes serving beer and whatnot behind and tourists from all over the globe admiring the little mannequin piece or mannequin piece to be more accurate, little man pissing. Alright, that's enough for the moment.